baseball on tap in Northern California and the Oakland Coliseum. We've got an AL Western Division showdown tonight between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Oakland A's. The Angels are looking to make history here today. Can they break the all-time winning streak record? We'll see right after this. Chris Bassett gets the ball for Oakland in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a real solid season up to this point. ERA under 3.5, which is saying something in these high-scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch, and if he's on, he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch in this one. So now into the box is David Fletcher. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. That one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. So it's a solo shot on the very first pitch of the ball game. Eighth home run on the season for him as the Angels take a one to nothing lead. Hey, as a pitcher, just trying to get that first pitch over, this guy doesn't have a lot of pop, but he made him pay for it. Daily. Stepping in now, Cannon Daly. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels' starting lineup. What do you think they need to do to keep the winning streak a rolling, D. Rowe? Are we still a big believer in batting average, Matty? In today's game, I I'm more interested in the OPS number. But that's not to take anything away from this offense. They lead the league in batting average, and what that tells me is they're getting a lot of guys on base. There's a lot of guys with some good approaches and good plans today. See if that leads to a bunch of runs. Short hit hard. Andrews fields it cleanly. On to first, and there were two down. Batting four, the third base, number six, Anthony Rendon. So now the Angels cleanup batter, Anthony Rendon, as he enters this one with an absurdly high batting average. Definitely one of the most dangerous hitters in the league these days. Base hit, line drive into the corner. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he will creep ever closer to that record as you see there. This hitting streak has reached epic proportions now. d -Row, this guy is just amazing right now. He's just swinging a magic wand, and it looks like there's no end in sight to this streak. Yeah, you can't think of anything else. This is national news right here. This is all anybody's talking about. When you start getting into these numbers almost two months, and you're challenging Joe DiMaggio. Well, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And the run will score from second to make this a 2-0 ball game. He took that back that right good. where it came from. The nice right ribby point. knock right That's up the shoot there. Yeah, a little bit frustrating as a pitcher. You, know, you always hear that, hey, you want to make yourself one of the defenders. But that ball was hit just out of his reach, right up the middle, base hit, and another run batted in. Here's Dexter Fowler now. And he puts it on the ground to second. Scooped up. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of inning number one. Angels are out in front, two to nothing. Keith Daly gets the starting nod for the Halos. What do you have for us on him, Danny? It's not easy as a rookie to go out there and establish yourself, get the off-speed pitches over, and just try to be the same pitcher that you were in the minor leagues. And one of the big keys, not get ahead of yourself. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes now to Andrus. Nope, ball one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight, all you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. 
I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. The 2-0. Hey, great job by the offense right here to put a number up on the board and allow this young gun to go out on the mound, relax a little bit, and establish that good fastball. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. There to take it is Trout, and that's out number one. Batting second. With that, let's look at the starting lineup for the hometown A's. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Yeah, keep an eye on Elvis Andrus. Coming into the game, he's among the leaders in the AL in stolen bases. Sure, that tells you he has a lot of speed, but what it also tells you is he does a great job of getting on base. Keep an eye on him if he gets aboard in this one. To the plate now, Tony Kemp. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Popped him up. Suzuki is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting third, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Striding in for Oakland, Matt Chapman. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First pitch on its way. And he takes ball one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Down low, two balls and a strike. All even now, two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Nothing across here this half. We'll move to the second inning here in Oakland. Angels lead it two to nothing. Second inning set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bats nice. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. <laughs> Lifted down the line in left. And it's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. A line that's a base hit in the left field. So it's a good start for the Halos as their leadoff hitter reaches base. And as you see right there, that'll push his hitting streak yet another game as he has been on fire this month. Yeah, he certainly has. He's seeing the ball so big, Matty. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything in the last month or so. So I don't expect this to go away anytime soon. 
So now to the plate Jared Walsh as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one and Dan Dero this Oakland ball club entering play here tonight they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah Matty these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium focused on one thing not who was going to be the hero just the fact that they need and he turns on one sending it high and deep to right. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in right field. 45 home runs now on the campaign as the Angels have now opened up a 4 to nothing lead. Boy, talk about when you're hot, you're hot. Hits two bombs yesterday and another long bomb so far today. When this guy gets hot, he's near impossible to stop. I'm not giving this guy a pitch anywhere close to him. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. The shortstop. As he hits one on a line to left field. Pinder settles under it, and there's one gone. The batter number 20. All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. And I'm locking in on Matt Chapman. Without a doubt, one of the premier defenders in our sport. You know what he's often compared to his former high school teammate that people didn't know Nolan Arenado and him shared dugouts in high school. He's going to be at the top of the leaderboard this year defensive run save lock in on him. He's going to make a backhand gem line drive to left but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out the batter number seven designated hitter cannon daily. Next up, Cannon Daly grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Hit on the ground out to short, and Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. Just classic confidence at the box right now. You put your head on the pillow at night, you know you're on time. You get up, get dressed, drive to the ballpark, you expect to catch a couple barrels. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. He grounds it sharply to third, and that finds its way through for a base hit. The third base hit. Wow, I'm not sure how, but it looks like he didn't even touch this thing. Might have been thinking about throwing the ball before he actually caught it. The game moves fast, but you have to do one thing at a time. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Hit sharply on the ground. Chapman's got it. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 4-0 Angels. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter Matt Olson and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Now here's the first offering. Bit of an ill-advised swing that time as that ball got in on him. Woo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Here it comes on nothing and two. Ah, and the screwball got him swinging one gun. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Yeah. 
And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. Nope. And a ball 1 and 0. The average hits at a cool 305 entering play. Six home runs and 25 driven in. The 1 0. Now a swing and a fly ball. And the move is Upton. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Coming on is Fowler, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Batting six, the designated hitter, Mark Canna. So next to hit is Mark Canna, and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. First pitch on its way. Ball one. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. This one runs a little too far in. Ball two. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Two out, nobody on. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. And this might be the kind of A.B. that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. And that brings up Chad Pinder as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Two and zero, the count to the A's left fielder. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Now the two zero home. A swing and a miss, strike one. Kenna stands at second with two gone. Two and two. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Three. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Two out double left stranded. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Now with the plate is Justin Upton as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Fielder, number 10. Justin first delivery to him on the ground to third Chapman has it cleanly throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third now batting 
right fielder, Dexter Fowler. So there's the first out here in the Angels third and that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder Dexter Fowler. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. One out nobody on. And that one yanked just foul. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Right side defense aligned perfectly. Fielded cleanly in time to first and there are two away. Now batting. Catcher. Kurt Suzuki. Bases are empty here with two away. And that'll bring in the catcher Kurt Suzuki. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Grounded to third. And he goes to a knee to try to knock it down, but it's by him down the line. Uh, hey, D Roll, that's just what you want to do. Keep the pressure on. He's given up a couple of runs early already in this game, and now he gives up the two out single. Yeah, no chance right there. You want to make this guy work. You want to try and get into their pen as quick as possible. And if two out knocks are the answer, then so be it. In now Jared Walsh right side but it's well foul perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second ready with the 0 1 another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2 two out with the man at first. Popped him up. Kemp has a play. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Angels four, and the A's nothing. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. First pitch on its way. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence, he's got great body language on the mound, he's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. The 1 1 home is strike two swinging. Here comes the one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three. Well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season and you can see that he's had it working here in the first two months of the year currently leading the AL in that category. Next up for the A's Sean Murphy and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for hit in the air down the right field line Fowler on the run he gets there and that's the second out now that not shortstop Elvis and Cruz. base is empty two away and that'll bring up the shortstop Elvis Andrews. Here it comes now to Andrus. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count.
And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. A's are gone in order. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. So here is Jose Iglesias. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch, and it's early trouble here this half of the inning. Up next for the Angels. Well, pitching poorly once like he did in his last start, it's going to happen here or there, but he's struggling here again, too, and there has to be some concern. And part of it is probably psychological. He's got to get those here-we-go-again thoughts out of his head. At the plate, David Fletcher, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. A hit in two tries for him so far. The 0 1 pitch. A line shot to third base. The battle, number seven. Designated hitter. Cannon. Cannon. So next to bat will be Cannon Daly. He's set. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. That could prove to be a big run in this one, guys. Well, this triple brings in another run, and if they don't stop the bleeding quick and start answering back, they're going to have a hill too steep to climb. Paul Irvin answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Daly takes his lead at third with one away. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center. And the Angels just won't let up as this is going to be good for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. The pitcher hadn't recovered from the sting of giving up a triple, and then he gets belted for a double. The lead grows, and the guy on the mound is probably wondering if his day is going to be ending soon. In now is Anthony Rendon to the left side, but it's well foul. One for two in the ball game thus far. Comes set and the 0-1 line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. It's seven nothing. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. Here's Justin Upton now. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. 
Now baseball is a game of streaks and runs and he is on one right now. No question he's swinging the bat very well of late and when that's the case you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game that's his second base knock this one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one at the plate now Dexter Fowler a little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Grounder down the line at third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. One run is in. Throw comes to second, but he is in there with a two run double. They just keep pouring it on this inning. That's five runs so far, and they're not finished yet. They've been teeing off on everything they see, and they're showing no signs of stopping anytime soon. Stepping in now, Kurt Suzuki, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. On to first, and Suzuki's retired, two away. Now batter, the first baseman, Jared Wall. Digging in will be Jared Walsh. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the Angels nine and the A's nothing. Striding in is Tony Kemp. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's still thinking about it as he walks to the plate right here. Matt Chapman. Next to stand in is Matt Chapman looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And now pitch on the way. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Rendon is there for it. Two gone. Now batting. The first baseman, Matt. Two away now in the Oakland fourth. And that brings in the big power hitting first baseman, Matt Olson. Now here's the pitch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. And he takes a cold strike, too. And he fouls this one off. Another 1 2 delivery. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit, and he's 1 for 2 now. Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Dero, with that the stacked batter. infield Number on the right two. side. To hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there, got him to hit it where he wanted to, put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. And he stretches out and left, but this is off his glove. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. 
finally they show some signs of life. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're underwater or something. But a single and a double, and now they've got runners on second and third. We'll see if they can cash them in. So now it's Mark Canna as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Trying to cash in here on this two out rally. Couple of men in scoring position with two away. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. I got to count one entry. Olsen on third. Loriano at second with two gone. Fouled off. He'll try again, one, two. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. On to first, and the A's fail to cash in here as the side is retired. A's strand a couple. They're down nine to nothing. Back at the Oakland Coliseum, and before we go much further, let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Top to bottom, he said his guys have been picking on the right pitches to swing at, and they've done a nice job of using the whole field. He said that always seems to be a recipe for success, and their seven extra base hits in this one are evidence that it has been. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Yasmero Petit gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. He's set, and the pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Now the 0 1. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter number and there are the final numbers for the Oakland starter. And clearly he was off his game this evening. Well, you could see right from the get go that he didn't bring his A game. Had a very difficult time getting through the lineup. And as a matter of fact, wasn't able to even get out of the fourth inning. So the bullpen's going to have to do a really big job of finishing out the rest of this game. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting number seven, designated hitter, Cannon Daly. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Cannon Daly. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Oh, one pitch on its way. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Line drive to left. Tinder's got it for route number three. Nothing doing here this half. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Angels nine and the A's nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. 
Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. All right, Heidi, thank you. The left fielder, Jeff. Pinter. First pitch on its way. Chad Pinder is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. And there's a base hit on the line. The back. The right fielder, Steven. Outfielder Steven Piscotti, the next to hit. First pitch on the way. A ball and no strikes. No runs, four hits, and one error on the Oakland line score. And that's in there for his strike one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Three balls and two strikes for Steven Piscotti. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Fouled away. Pinder aboard here at first with nobody out. And he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs okay. until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of his secondary pitches so far on this one and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. In at the plate is Sean Murphy as he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one. And that fastball is taken but catches the outer third. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance so that leadoff single into scoring shot. position. He had clearly no problems working Andrew. out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control of this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews.
Here it comes now to Andrus. Whoa, that's up there. The 1 0. Hey. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. A runner on first with two away. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. Popped him up. Rendon in foul ground. Oh, he brought it back. The A's strand one. They're looking up at a 9 nothing deficit. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And standing in, the ever-dangerous Mike Trout. Mike Trout. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. In the air, down the line, and left. And this is taken in just shy of the warning track for out number one. Up next for the Angels, the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. So here's the cleanup hitter, Anthony Rendon. In previous matchups with Yusmero Petit, he's 0 for 5. Now the first pitch. Swing and a line drive. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty. One man out. Hit on the ground to third. On to first and a great play there by the A's third baseman. And as a legendary Bay Area voice may have said, holy Toledo. Justin Upton the next to hit. He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Pulled high in the air out to left field. He's under it and that ends the inning. Angels down quickly there on just four pitches but they'll live with it as they hold a nine to nothing lead. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Tony Kemp. The second baseman. First Tony. pitch of the AB now. Kemp. One -oh. One -oh count. Here it is. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And this is taken in by Upton for the first out. So with one now away, a couple of teams out of the AL base. West doing Back. battle in this one. So let's check, check out there. where they sit in the standings entering play here today. So one gone for the A's in their half of the sixth. And that means Matt Chapman will dig into the plate. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. And he fouls this one off. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Heading out towards shallow right. Fowler has a read on it. Two gone. Now that the first baseman, Matt Olson. Up next, Matt Olson. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. 
Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. In there at the letters 0 and 1. Back up the middle. Iglesias is there. So cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the A's. They're down nine to nothing. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Dexter Fowler. Dexter Fowler. First delivery to him. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Right side, fair ball down the line. Around first, digging for two. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. No doubt about it. He was looking fastball all the way there, and that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out, runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. Standing in now, Kurt Suzuki. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul for the first strike. So far, two for three in this one. Hit to short. There is Andrus. The throw short hops him at first, and now two men are aboard. Now that is. Man, this is a perfect summary of how the game has gone for him. They haven't been able to hit, catch, or throw all game long. In fact, they should just throw a 10 over this thing because this has become a three-ring circus. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And here comes the first baseman, Jared Walsh. From the belt, kicks and deals. Skied into straightaway right. Piscotti on his horse. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag. One zero is looked at for the first strike. I mean, this offense has struggled because they haven't been able to make the adjustment. He stayed staunch on the outer half, and these guys have not worked the ball the other way. Looked like that one tied him up a bit. A swing and a miss. Line drive to left. Upton is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting. The right fielder. Steven. Next, here is Steven Piscotti. Over two for him to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning continues. The relay. Throw won't get him. 
hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. And now in the box, Sean Murphy. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. They come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. Now the 2-0 home. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two-thirds. Yeah, he's grinded this one out, and he's got a chance to get through seven strong innings, Dan. That's got to light the bullpen up. Yeah, and it does, Mark, because you sit out there in that bullpen, and once that starter gets... Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. A strand a couple. Still looking up at a 13-0 score. Now at the plate, Justin Upton. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's one for four. Number 10, Justin Upton. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a swing there from Upton as this is on the ground to short. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now back. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. Now at the plate, here is Dexter Fowler. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. On to first, and he's breezing through the eighth here with two quick outs. Up next to the eighth, the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Stepping up is Kurt Suzuki. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. pitch. Swing and a line drive to left. Henders got it for route number three. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Angels are out in front. 13 to nothing. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. We're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's gone about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Here it comes now to Andres. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hey, guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight. Now Endress with a swing and a deep drive to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he will get there as the A's have themselves a leadoff double. When that one left the bat, I wasn't sure where it was going to come down. I thought it might have a chance. Yeah, same here, man. It kind of got lost high in the sky before one hop defense for an extra base hit. During the daytime, that thing probably would have carried out of here, but you can't complain too much about a double. Stepping in now, Tony Kemp. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. It's one and one to Tony Kemp. A 
little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded by Rendon. And there's one down now. Now batting. Third baseman. Matt Chapman. Now to the plate, Matt Chapman. He flew out in his last A.B. From the stretch. And even though he's had some success against this guy in the ball game, he still knows he's a very dangerous opponent. He won't want to fall behind him any further. 2-0 and oh now. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, oh, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. High in the air out to center field. Trout has a read on it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, first baseman, Matt Olson. Next to hit is Matt Olson. He bounced out last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. We're moving right along into this one. This guy's continuing to pitch well, which is a little bit of a surprise because his first pitch strike ratio is still under 60%. One one home, and it's fouled away. Andres at second with two down, and he just misses inside with the fastball there. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Full count now. home grounded down the third baseline but this will get foul so they'll do it again three and two another full count pitch home and he will strike him out ten now in the ball game and the inning is over one left for Oakland still looking up at a 13 nothing score will be Jared Walsh flew out last time up. Here's the first pitch. Oh and one here it comes right side and right into the ship. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now okay. Next to hit, Jose Iglesias. He's got two hits in four at bats. First pitch of the AB now. Liner towards second, but there to take this one is the second baseman, and that's out number two. Second baseman, David Fletcher. And now here is David Fletcher, lifetime versus this pitcher. A number of meetings, he's one for seven. First pitch on its way. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Here's the 0-1. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. So nothing happening this time around. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. Angels lead it 13 to nothing. And 
stepping in, Ramon Laureano. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Now here's the first offering. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Get hit to third. Rendon is there. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Now that the designated hitter, Mark Hanna. Now the A's designated hitter, Mark Canna, two for three with a double on his line so far. The first pitch on the way. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Struck him out, and there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now, just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Stepping in next, Chad Pinder. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. First pitch on its way. Swing and a line drive. But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. 13 0, the convincing final score. Los Angeles scored a lucky 13 in this one. Keith Daly earns a league leading 11th win of the year, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Chris Bassett permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. and 36 minutes. TGIF and welcome to Inside the Show. Starting out west in the American League, the Texas Rangers snapped a nine-game losing streak as they took down the Mariners 3-1. to one. The Rays put up 16 hits on the day as they grabbed the win against the visiting Royals 11-6. to six. The Blue Jays allowed only five hits in the game as they took down the Yankees in the Bronx 4-3. to three. The Orioles grabbed 13 hits in the game as they beat the White Sox on the south side 7-5. Harold Ramirez drove home three runs as the Indians took care of Detroit four to two. The Marlins allowed only five hits as a staff as they defeated the visiting Fightin' Phils five to one. 
Taiwan Walker got the W and now has five this year as the Mets downed the Rockies five to three. He is currently among the NL leaders in earned run average.